Right, so as you can see, we are at the denture center, just finishing off. So finished off the brickwork up to here. That's the catnip we use in there. The catnip we got is a special order because we've had to do a wider cavity, um, which you'll see in the progress video, which will be out at some point. So the denture center TDD project video, that'll be out uh, at some point. So you can check out the full video from start to finish. But what we've had to do, because it's not a standard cavity, it's not an off-the-shelf catnip. So we've had to wait a week to 10 days, but now it's finally here. I'll take you up and show you up close. So as you'll see in one of our other videos, which will be up here somewhere, um, it's how to mix sand and cement. So it's a four in one mix as the, yeah, it is, sorry. I'm a bit fucking tired at the minute. Um, <coughs> it's a four in one mix. So four sand, one cement, 25 of the mortar plasticizer. Okay, so it's always the same consistency. So when it goes off, it's the same color with the mortar. So as we have here, is a bed ready to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just quickly, cause it's been left for a little bit, just work it, get it up. Ooh. All right, put it on. All right, it's doing that all the way around on all four points. So then what you do then with your muck, you push it out like that, Okay, I don't know, we've got stone in this bit. Let's get that out. That'll be a pain in the ass. <sighs> right, so as I was saying, get your muck, push it around like that. So scrape it off. You don't want it to be too thick for the catnick. All right, so like so. I'm nice. trying to do it one handed, it's a bit cack handed, but I am doing it to show you. So, you see four points of muck ready to go. So, what I do now is all I do is lift the canic up, drop it into place, tap it around, make sure it's level, job done. So, you lift it up. Good thing about the canic, it's nice and light. So, we want it in about 10 mil in from the front. The re reason for that is when we joint up, so when we join all these up to, to, to match these, okay, you're not gonna see the steel of the catnick, okay? So you can flush it up and you won't even notice there. Only, you'll only notice there from underneath, okay? So now that's in place, what we do now, chuck our level up, see how we are. Look at that, it's pretty, that's virtually bang on as it is. Probably two mil, so just a tap. Look at that. That's perfect. Just to just to ensure we are right, we'll just give it one of them as well. It's a bit tricky because of the insulation, but you get a happy medium basically. And we are a little bit higher, a little bit higher on the thermalite side. So again, give it a little tap down. Both sides. And that's it. So, there you have it. Catnick fitted above the door opening. If you, so it's nice and simple that. So if you want to see how to fit a DPC above a catnick tray, okay, the video for that will be up here. So check that out if you want to look at that as well, because that's very important. So what that does is just to prevent any water coming through down so it protects the inside, all right. With the catnick, I have insulation on the inside there. So basically that stops the cold bridging going through on the inside. So it will condensate and it will go on the inside. So that's what that's there for. 
to prevent that going on, on the inside of the property. This is the underside view of it. Okay, so all we've got to do now is just finish off some PIR insulation on the cavity there. And that's already done. And that's it then. So thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoy. If you want to see any more TDD project videos, head over to all of our socials, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, TikTok. And then if you want to see any full video videos, check out the full videos again on uh, YouTube. Okay guys, thank you very much.